Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So we're going back for Ali Bata again, and this time I'm going to react to his fingerstyle cover of Numb, originally done by Linkin Park, of course. And before we start, guys, I have to really thank you because you Alipers, the fan base of him, you guys did not only gave the last push to my 10k subs, but you went above and beyond. Meanwhile, we're already over 12k and you guys were a big part of that. So thank you very, very much for the support. And that video also got so much response and good response that I'm very excited to do another one from Alip Bata. And a lot of you guys reminded me that he just does it in some kind of room at his home, I assume. And I even saw... Uh, and that's the first that somebody did a reaction to my reaction of him. And that guy had like over 100,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. I feel honored to have been part of that video. Thank you so much. But that said, I'm very curious for this one because... I'm a huge fan of Linkin Park myself and <laughs> I've covered them myself. I will put the link somewhere above here, but that was like a couple of years ago. And I mean, nowhere near <laughs> as good as uh, as Ali Bata, I'm sure. And that was pretty much in the beginning. I was still figuring out a lot of things uh, when it came to recording music and such. So yeah. All right. But that said, I'm very excited and curious to see him do this one here we go oh my god <laughs> i'm already blown away so first of all i know the intro very good but i didn't know he would use the how do you call these exactly? Like, where you just hold your finger on the string without pressing it down. I don't know how it's called, actually. I mean, to play a couple of notes like that is possible, of course. But I didn't expect him to do it with the intro. And he uses his right hand as well to do that. In combination with plucking the strings. I mean, so clean. Let, let's hear that again. So nice. Wow. And the bass again. My god. So he already uses a little bit of percussion here and there. And like usually with Numb you have the, the rhythm. But here he adds a little bit of rhythm in between. And he uses the percussion on his guitar for that. It's... Crazy, crazy. Let's return to the beginning. I want to hear that again. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Again, so subtle. So... He starts off pretty high on his guitar and then he goes down an octave to play it lower. And again, the little touch with his fingernails, like it's nothing. It's just, I have goosebumps again. I mean, it's so seamless. He just goes tap, tap and plays like it's so easy and it's definitely not. My God. But uh, in this video, I see that he has uh, some kind of mic on the hole on his guitar. Well, the hole to the chamber of his guitar, let's say. He has a, a microphone there. I don't remember it being there in Bohemian Rhapsody or I missed it. I don't know. So nice. Again, the same guitar. I assume it's the same brand. Multiple voices as well. Like in the original, you only have Chester's voice, or had, because sadly Chester, of course, passed away. But in the original, it's only Chester's voice. And here, he uses multiple lines. Uh, on top of the, the main vocal part, let's say. <sighs> so he adds his own thing here. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. 
na 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 And the bridge What? How did he do that? How did he do that? I want to see that again. I don't even know how he did that. He used the part of the head of his guitar. Let me grab my guitar for a moment. Wait a little minute. So he used part of the head of his guitar where the strings are attached right here. That's what he used, but I'm not sure how he did that. If he pressed on that whilst he was playing it, I'm not sure at all. But that is crazy. I've never seen somebody do that. Let me, okay. That's a technique that I have never seen. I mean, I know that the strings uh, beyond the bridge can produce sounds as well. But there was a shift in tone like he pressed it, like when you press on the string and then pull it up, the note gets higher. And if you pull it back, it gets lower again. But to do it on the head of your guitar, I've never seen that. Very unique. And again, it's like nothing. Unbelievable. My God. So he uses his right hand to tap the string and pluck it at the same time. So much skill, so much skill. Again, that fingernail on the pinky. Oh. Holding too tightly. What was that? I didn't. So you saw at a certain point that he strummed the strings a little bit higher on his arm. Normally what that does is gives a little less full sound, so a little bit less bassy sound, uh, more a trebly kind of sound. And that was on purpose, that was clear. Alrighty, let's return a little, let's see that. That was on purpose, I think. Yeah, you heard that? That was a little less of a bassy sound when he strummed higher on his guitar. And the couple of notes that he strummed just before that, on the first and second string, I believe, but it was kind of muted. I think he held down his hand to keep them muted when you play it, that the sound doesn't long out, that it doesn't stay there, so it's muted right away. But I think that's on purpose as well. Let's hear that again. Like this. You hear that? And now... Yeah. Again, what the... The sliding of his chords. Oh! <laughs> the sliding of his chords. It seems easy. Like everything that he does seems easy. But it's so difficult to be so precise. If you slide chords. First of all, you have to be able to exactly keep that position in your fingers. Whilst you slide over the strings. But you have to know exactly where to stop. So you're in the correct position. If you're a little bit too far, you could be at the next fret, which will be terrible in sound. <laughs> if you're not far enough, then the strings might vibrate too much, which will not sound clean. And it's so difficult, especially if you have to go very far down the arm. Man.
sorry to pause that much guys but i mean there's so much to say about this I want to hear that again. What an improv. That's not in the original, obviously. Just showing off a little bit. Like, no problem. I'll do a little improv right here. No problem. I can do anything. <laughs> I mean, if I were him, that's what I would say. <laughs> so nice. Oh my god. Back at the beginning. Yeah. <sighs> He's incredible. And this one even impressed me more than the last one. My god. There are so many techniques uh, that he uses. I said it in the last video as well. I mean, you can hear it's very good. But he goes over it so quickly that you wouldn't really notice it if you don't really pay attention. There's so much little stuff in there. These little touches and uh, extra techniques in that that doesn't need to be there to be good. But which makes it like next level. Makes it also like 10 times harder to do. It's something extra that you have to add. And something extra that you have to pay attention to. Not only is it an extra technique, but it's also you have to include it in the rhythm, in between the voice, in between the bass. And I mean, what else can I say? What else can I say? I still have goosebumps. <laughs> I think I'm becoming an Aliper myself. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one. This one blew me away. And I think you guys <laughs> really knew why you recommended this to me. So, yeah, without rambling on, uh, I'm gonna end this reaction. And I'm gonna look forward to the next one of, uh, of Alibata. Uh, probably, I don't know, in a couple of weeks. Uh, I hope one in December at least that I can do. Because there are a lot of suggestions that I have besides Alibata. Uh, but uh, uh, as well guys don't forget to subscribe like and share the video also don't forget i have other reaction videos music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out so thank you very much and see you guys next time bye So first of all guys, I want because the Alipers, because the Alipers, because the Alipers, you Alipers, because you Alipers, because you Alipers, because you Alipers, but you went but you went and that uh um he d that he just does it in his uh that he just that he that he just had like had like la had like I wasn't really uh I was still where you tap the where you just where you just in combination with picking up so he already uses a cup 
uh, sitting on his uh, on on the um, like he uses multiple uh, multiple layer. He used this. Uh, I've never de. Yeah, I'm not. Like, uh, but there was, but there was a of some kind of sort. Like when you press your. Uh, but to do it on the git, he uses he constantly uh, when he uses these like uh, when he <laughs> like I'm gonna call it like uh, some kind of to uh, to tap. That was a little bit more of a of a of a high per the, the, that there's no uh, uh, whilst you whilst you glide over the you could be at the at the will if you go a little bit if you if you which give some kind of um, like uh, which will not which which won't. I'll do a little improvisation. That's what I wanted. That's what I would. Not only is the next. Alrighty. I, I think. I'm getting. I think. I'm. Uh, yeah. I mean. Don't have anything else. to. Oh. That's. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> I was too excited.